Geometric sequences are when there is a pattern between the series of numbers, but th there is a multiplying or dividing pattern, meaning that you are multiplying to get to the next number or you are dividing to get to the next number. And whatever it is that you multiply by or divide by, that is called the common ratio. So in this example right here, I can see that I am multiplying by two to get to the next number. So the common ratio here, we'll just say R, is equal to two. This one's a pretty obvious, but if you're ever not sure how to find the common ratio, just take your second number and divide it by your first number. So that'd be six over three, which is equal to two. And again, you could do 12 over two, I mean, sorry, 12 over six, which is two, 24 over 12, which is two, and so on. This next example here, I can see that my numbers are getting smaller, so I know that I'm going to divide. But we always want to make our ratio something that we multiply by, and so we are going to be multiplying by a fraction. So again, to find my rate, my ratio, I take my second number divided by my first number. So it's going to be 25 over 50, which simplifies to 1 half. So multiplying by 1 half is the same thing as dividing by 2. Okay, So you can see I'm dividing by 2 for each of these, but that's the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. So we want to give our common ratio as a fraction or whole number, something that we're multiplying by. We're not going to give it as, a, um, as what we're dividing by. Okay, So we wouldn't say 2, because if you say 2, you're saying that you multiply by 2. We want to say 1 half to show that we are dividing by 2. So I'm going to start with this example right here. And similar to arithmetic sequences from the other day, I want you to be able to tell me the recursive and the explicit formula. So starting with this, um, I can see that my common ratio here is 3, because 15 divided by 5 is 3. 45 divided by 15 is 3, and so on. So I am multiplying each one here to get by 3 to get to the next number. So my r here is equal to 3. I can tell that my first number is 1, so a sub 1 is equal to 5. Okay, So I'm going to start with the recursive formula. And remember, the recursive formula does not do anything other than identify the common rate and identify um, what the initial number is, or the first number, the first term. So the formula for recursive formula of a geometric sequence is a sub n is equal to r times a sub n minus 1. So specific to this example, we're going to say that a sub n is equal to our rate, which we already identified as being 3, times a sub n minus 1. And then with recursive formula, you always want to identify the first term in the sequence. Okay, so this right here in green, and I know I kind of cut that off, this right here in green, this is the recursive formula specific to this problem. All right, let me do the explicit formula. All right, the explicit formula for um, a geometric sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1. So when I plug it in specific to this problem, I'm going to say a sub n is equal to a sub 1, which is 5, times my rate, which is 3, to the power of n minus 1. Now, this does not simplify to 15 to the power of n minus 1. You've got to remember order of operations. You have to do exponents before you multiply. Now, let's say that I wanted you to find the um, eighth term. Okay, so we want to find the eighth term. I'm going to say 5 times 3 to the power of 8 minus 1. So when you put this in your calculator, you can put everything in the calculator. You're going to want to use parentheses if you do. I suggest just doing 3 to the power of 7 first and then multiplying that by 5, which is 10,935. Okay. All right, so let's do another example. On this example, um, we want to first figure out the rate. How are we getting from one number to the next? And I can see that I'm dividing by 2. Again, if you're not sure, 256 to put your second number over your first number, and that simplifies to 1 half. So our rate here is 1 half. 
again, we don't want to write 2 because if you say 2, you're telling me that you multiply by 2. Your rate's what, what you have to multiply by. So we multiply by 1 half. And then I know that my first term is 512. So for the recursive formula, because I want you to write the recursive and the explicit. So for the recursive formula, a sub n is equal to my rate, which is 1 half, times um, a sub n minus 1. And again, with recursive, you always want to identify the first term in the sequence, which is 512. So remember, the recursive formula, we can't use it to find anything. It just identifies the rate and the initial term. That's all the recursive formula does. All right, now let's do the, um, the explicit formula. All right, the explicit formula, um, a sub n is equal to a sub 1, which is 512, times my rate, which is 1 half, to the power of n minus 1. Make sure you put your rate in parentheses like this, because if you don't, and you try to put this in the calculator, it's going to put that exponent just to the 1. You want to show that the exponent goes to 1 half, not just to the 1, okay? And so again, when I let's say I want to find, we'll go with the, I don't know, 10th term. So we'll say a sub 10 is equal to 512 times 1 over 2 to the power of 10 minus 1. So when you put that in the calculator, let's see. You're going to get a long number. That's that can't work. Hold on a second. Sorry. I got one. One. That's funny, it actually is 1, huh. because 2 to the ninth power is 512, so the answer here is actually 1. I thought I just totally made a mistake on that. Um, so there you go.